Gold failing to break below 1870 levels has traded bullish and in fact has breezed above 1891. I hope you all profited with the morning analysis where I asked you to buy at 1880. Likewise, look at oil. Oil is traded. Now see, in the morning, we I told you that you have to wait for 74.8 and 74.8 is achieved. Now still, there is not much of downside. So what to expect with the US session? Which position you should take in order to profit trading gold and crude oil WTI? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis and targets for major global markets and commodities. Let's start. First we'll look into gold. Followed with crude oil WTI. Do watch till the end. Listen to it carefully. Note down the levels. Trade as per the levels. First let's have a look at the gold on the early charts. It tried to fill the gap. Failing to do so it is still left a little gap here at between 1870 and 1872. And since then has been trading bullish. You can clearly see it is trying to trade in this channel. But look at these few candles. It is waiting for a breakout again. And possibly if you see it trading above 1895. You can expect that we might see 19. 0 to 1908 levels very very soon and these are going to be very strong resistance but one must not forget that this is only applicable till the time it stays above 1880 because below 1880 again there might be a pull again on the downside and we will have to wait for 1870 to be breathed in order to confirm the bearishness there now see the stock i stick is comfortable it is retraced a bit the MACD is trying to cross over for a buy entry right now it is in sell and it is still on the bear side if you see the rsi this is again looking upwards this is traded overbought in the near past and now again back to those levels now look at the two hour charts you see on the two hour charts too it has been trading in this bullish channel and this is precisely trying to give waiting for a breakout and yes uh, a trade below 1880 levels certainly may bring little bearishness but do not consider this for a good sell until and unless it trades below 1870-1860. So right now it is trying to consolidate. It is trying to stay above 1890 levels. And if you look at the stock stick, this is dropped trying to recover on the 2 hour charts. The MACD is still bullish trading with divergence looking upwards. The RSI is overbought which indicates that there could be a little pullback. Now look at 3 hour chart. See on the 3 hour charts almost double bottom lower highs and this breakout it is failing to go past the previous highs that is what something I will observe. And yes if you see it staying above 1895-96 you can stay long and expect it to rise more when we can expect 1902-1908 levels. But do not forget that see this is the second third uh, 3 hour candle there possibly the next candle I will watch, wait and watch out for it may try to pull pull it back a little on the downside. Now see the stock I stick is was there overbought it has dropped a bit the MACD is divergent and bullish it is looking up the RSI is trading consistently overbought. Now look at 4 hour chart on the 4 hour chart so see bottom up there and a breakout this is the breakout candle this is the first candle. Also, this is trying to leave a little uh, wick on the upside. Also, this is getting the resistance from the top of the Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands have certainly expanded. And see, this is also trading above little pivot. Possibly, it may try to break. If it stays above 1896, certainly it will break past 1900 levels very, very soon. And you can see this. It is strictly trying to trade bullish. You have to be watchful there. Now, if you look at... The, the stock I stick this is overbought the may be divergent bullish looking upwards the RSI is again overbought here on the 4 hour chart and it is consistently trading overbought. Now look at the daily chart on the daily charts lower highs lower lows we saw this in the morning analysis that till 1870 we have to be watchful and now till the time it stays above 1896 we have to uh, stay below 1896 we have to be cautious because see it has to break past the previous highs in order to confirm the bullishness and then it may try to fly high and that is what we have been seeing in this analysis. So there is a probability that it can try to reverse a little. The stock I stick is overbought. The MACD is divergent and bullish. This is most important and we have seen this in our previous analysis also that this crossover has happened at bottom possibly it can try to pull it back on the upside. RSI is also trying to look up which indicates there is still its strength in gold and it can try to continue with the bullish momentum and whether it is going to happen today or not that is the question there. For the day in between 1870, 1895, 1896 levels 
we have to be cautious yes you can sell at 1880 levels but then expect that below 1880 we may see 1876 1870 levels as the next target and only and only if it breaks below 1870 you can expect that it is trying to retrace a little it is trying to drop a little and see throughout the day we have seen the market trading bullish the gold trading bullish possibly it can reverse the trend you have to be watchful here and on the upside above 1896 you can buy expect 1902 1908 levels and beyond that more bullishness can be expected take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trading stop loss now let's have a look at crude oil wti and yes if you want to learn this art art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship batch the 20th batch starts on 20th of april we have extended it as uh, i had taken a break last week so could not respond to many of you and hence we have taken an extension and now the 20th batch starts on 28th of march book your seats now itself reserve your seats now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id the mention in the channel and video description now look at crude oil wti in the morning i told you very clearly 77.2 levels how beautifully the levels are respected so far precisely it has reversed from 77.2 levels and see uh, 77.2 77.5 i had told you only above which it may try to show bullishness and below 76.5 we had expected it to trade bearish and see how beautifully it has broken and but at the same time it has got the support at 75 and then now the next support levels at 73.8 will come into picture because below that we may see a very sharp drop now it is trading outside bollinger bands hence might get a pullback but let's be watchful the next candle might decide and if you look at the stock i stick this is vertically fallen to an oversold zone the macd has crossed over this is divergent this is bearish this is still looking down the rsi is also looking down indicating slight bearishness but certainly 74.5 and 73.8 are very very good support now look at two hour chart see the candle size has diminished here hence you have to be watchful you have to be cautious here also if you look at the highs there see lower highs were created here lower lows are created we saw this after this drop this is trying to trade here bearish waiting for a breakout either which ways and hence 73.8 levels you should watch out for but something i will show you in the daily charts just let's have a look here see the stock i stick here is oversold the macd has again crossed over for bearishness and this is again trying to trade with divergence the rsi is also come to bottom there now look at 3 hour chart on the 3 hour chart we saw in the morning that once it stays below 76.4 levels you can see a good drop precisely sharp red candle single candle has been seen so far which is a sharply bearish candle and it has traded so far with a strong bearish momentum now see this is expanding this is expanding this is increasing bearishness right now and hence you have to now look forward to 73.8 because below that certainly more bearishness may prevail the rsi is looking stock isk is looking down the macd now see the macd is trying to cross over for a sell but it is see this crossover is happening at a bottom at a lower levels and hence still it has scope for it to continue or reverse from here the rsi is also looking down trying to trade oversold now look at the four hour chart now on the four hour chart see precisely the bottom is almost here and yes if it stays below 74.4 you can expect rather a uh, 74.4 73.8 very very strong support here and we have to be cautious watchful watchful here i will recommend you to sell at 74. Point. so 74.2 yes you can sell here but then expect 73.8 as a major support and beyond that only we can expect little bullishness there on the upside yes uh, once again you can buy here at 75 it can see a pullback there but then expect 75.5 76.2 76.5 at the next resistances the stock i stick is looking down the macd has crossed over for a sell this is trading with divergence but see it is still has got some scope however it is still very much trying to consolidate the rsi is looking down trying to show some little bearishness now look at the daily now look at the daily charts here higher lows so far lower highs so far i will wait for this to break below 73.8 and then 73 beyond that we may see little more bearishness today it might try to break out but still you have to be watchful see uh, still it is showing a sharp drop and 74.2 levels are also uh, seen right now in fact it is trying to breach 74.2 the stock i stick is oversold remember the sharper the drop the sharper may be the rise the macd is divergent and bearish rsi is looking down 
and now 73.8 i will look forward to because below 73.8 directly we may see it landing for 73 72 and if 72 is broken you can consider that oil is going oil is looking forward to a sharper drop which might take it forward to 67 65 level but remember on the daily charts it is still oversold now also let's have a look at the weekly charts on the weekly chart see it is trying to give a breakout see previous red candle this candle is trying to come back here possibly 73 72.4 below levels are expected this week and if it breaks below 72 certainly more bearishness may prevail here and hence take your positions accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment also remember on the daily ch weekly charts it is trying to give a breakout and breakout is going to be stronger breakouts is going to be sharper hence you have to trade with caution you have to trade with the stop loss there take your trades accordingly do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now you can see 73.8 it is achieved and trying to recover so let's see how it behaves Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Join my signals channel. Join my mentorship batch. Reach out to me. My telegram and email ID are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you.